Get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Silver, silver. On first and ten, Mayfield. He's going to look deep now for left. He's got a man complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they snag over 30 yards. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one. And they've certainly been on point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. He's going to fire one deep. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And they move this all the way down to the 9. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Kadero Hodge, but it'll be second and goal. And again, it's Mayfield. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine Donovan Peoples-Jones, but now it's third and goal. Incomplete. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Donovan, Donovan Peoples-Jones with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very militant. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. First down, Mayfield. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Geno Atkins bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. 
over the middle, and it's incomplete. Coverage there by the former first-round pick, William Jackson. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he'll take a shot here for Hooper down. And got his man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But it's understandable. They've been shredded so far. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Going deep here for Landry. And this is caught, touchdown. Wait, hold a second here, a flag down. Let's see if this will stand. Pass interference, defense. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine, Donovan Peoples-Jones. But it'll be second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Stop your whining. Mike, 55. Mayfield with it once more. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the Michigan Wolverine, Donovan Peoples-Jones. But now it's third and goal. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Browns add on to their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone, and that's a safety. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Jesse Bates on the coverage. From the gun, Mayfield. And oh, what a catch that time by Landry. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis Landry. 75 yards, and the Browns add six to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some... Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. That's good. A big play that time for Cleveland. 55 yards. Quite the turnaround from a week ago where he threw four interceptions. He hasn't had an interception this game, and he told us during the week, my goal, goose egg. He's achieving that so far. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Going deep here for Landry. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. For a Cleveland. It's a big play there for the Browns. 57 yards. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. 
Yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. And this is caught at the eight. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just... So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And they have possession, and they have it at the... So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Oh, fires this one downfield for Chubb, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. This is So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything.